What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Vontae, the first, the day portion of Mugen Eclipse. And it's me, Mr. Twitchy, the night portion of Mugen Eclipse. We are back today, guys, with episode three of Pluto. And might I just say, to start us off here, that the first two episodes were absolutely breathtaking. I, I, I can't heap on enough praise. I'm even stuttering over my words at the start of this, because I enjoyed those first two episodes so much. Just seeing how robots... Especially at this time. We still don't really know the years, but we know it's in the future. I mean, we see the mm -hmm. infrastructure, the buildings, and the tech that they have. But, like, it's just still so interesting to see how robots interact with each other. And um, and we learned that they, I mean, they kill their own kind in war. They use them as weapons of mass destruction, essentially. So that's one thing that we learned from episode one through North. But it's just so interesting to see how they interact with people in general. They seem very humane to some degree. Yeah. And then obviously, there are some things that's quote unquote missing from them from them in comparison to humans. However, we've noticed Adam. Adam seems pretty uh Advanced. childlike. Yeah, he really seems like a genuine real human child. So I wonder like well my personal thing, I just wonder like to the people who invented these robots, I wonder if it was like like do they compete against each other to make like, what are their goals? Do they just want to make war oh, I see. robots? Or do some of them want to actually make, like, a genuine human-like robot? Because Adam mm -hmm. seems more so like... I mean, he's a child, for one. And two, it could be morbid, though. I mean, he could be making a child of... <laughs> robot of war, but... He, he seems very human-like. So I think the agenda there for creating him is probably different from, like, say, um, Hercules, for example. Like, he's just this yeah. big of strong dude for war so that's my uh quote unquote two cents in this i thought you were gonna go in a slightly different direction when you said morbid i thought maybe like the creator of adam might have actually lost like his son uh, and we were just talking off camera that if uh the last remaining member of the advanced seven robot brigade is the little girl that we saw in the trailer mm -hmm. and he made both of them Mm -hmm. I could just see like an emotional mm -hmm. gut punch upcoming. Like if he lost his kids and he made a replacement of <sighs> them, Damn. and it, if it's like the perfect replacement because they <sighs> seem so human, they seem more human than any of the other robots. Oh man, I'm already starting to tear up. It, that'd be too much. I'm excited. It's his episode, so if you will. All right, guys. So without any further delay, let's get into the newest episode of Pluto, season one, episode three, right about now. Oh, oh my God. No. <laughs> ah, here we go. Okay. Okay. Definitely a robot. <laughs> <laughs> I would uh, hope yeah. so. She's an animal whisperer? That's insane. <笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> <laughs> She's like, just another day. <laughs> Sister. Wow. wow. I'm not going to lie to you. Your, your theory, that sounds about right. Mm. Look how human they are. Like, the way that they interact, talk, to expressions, yeah. and all that. Mm. I love that. Mm -hmm. Wow. Look mm. at that. Mm. Okay. Talk about blurred lines. He like, damn. Mm. Who is this? I'll hold that thought. I, who is this? Why? See, one of the things I've always been intrigued about with humanity is like intuition and mm -hmm. 
for robots to have something similar to that in this as shown in that scene uh -huh. like he didn't act on it but he it seemed like he had intuition about this kenny kenny's va mm. yeah that's definitely him that is <laughs> there's a lot of them okay. where i'm like i'm pretty so sure i know that it. one no okay uh, so he must be the mastermind behind them damn death bots <laughs> that they got over there they said Persia had like a genius scientist, but they didn't yeah. know if they actually existed. So seeing another scientist like this that already gives off gives off sus vibes really leads mm -hmm. me to believe that Pluto is indeed a robot. That was either made by someone like him, maybe him, especially since they had that little encounter when he walked past Adam earlier. I love that that's the question though a lot. Is this person a robot? Is this person a human? Oh, so he's like an augmented human. Yeah. Interesting. That, that opens up a whole new door because, like, what do you mean augmentation? Did you augmentate your brain? Did you augmentate right. your limbs? Right. Oh. Whoa. What is that? Oh, the horns! Mm. <gasps> is that the demon? Pluto! <laughs> <laughs> um. Damn, yep, yep. Some. some shit oh, happened. she might. She might be a replacement, Vante. Like, his wife might have died. Look at her demeanor, too. She like doesn't very... really express herself as much as... Yeah. I feel like this is a psyop. Like, these aren't real memories. Or they're memories yeah. of his wife that died and they just made a replacement. Look, look at this. Look at this shot. Whoa! <laughs> mm. Has his memory chip been affected? Like, I know he trusts that doctor, but I don't necessarily trust that doctor. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Here it comes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll turn around. I have time for this. Mm -hmm. Could become weapons of mass destruction. They're using him as like property. They're they're scared that they could end up becoming like a weapons of mass destruction. Going back to what we were saying in the uh, other two episode reaction, or yeah, in those episodes we we're saying that like, um, with Gejito is out here like he's actually the one that's killing or having yeah. a hand at that. Last episode made me feel like yeah maybe not because he was you know obviously. We, uh, Brando didn't die from him, but mm -hmm. it makes me think like what if they're doing that Purposely using him to kill the rest of them because they're scared about what they can do, but they know that they can manage him alone Let's say someone found a way to Utilize each of these seven mm -hmm. and hijack them or change them Let's just say into that demonic form so that yeah. they could then kill another one right but the conversation he had with Hercules was that robots don't forget, and he's forgetting. Whoa. It's cheating. It's cheating. Thermal tracking. <laughs> My boy getting kill streaks without getting... Well, he ain't getting kills. They are. <laughs> but they don't need to. <laughs> Damn. Oh, man. Oh, my God. You know, something I just thought about, too? It's really useful for them to put robots out here. Because, you know, like in real life, when whenever you have civilian situations with, our, you know, with soldiers, real people, mm -hmm. it takes a toll on them. So imagine you use robots. Jesus. For now. That's crazy. Hmm. Hmm. 
今日三年経ったからね。それにしても三年も引き渡してくれ。Okay, who's his brother and how did he relate back to the Persian law, Persian war? Right. Oh, that's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. Oh boy. Oh, not the repeating of it. We get it. Wow. <laughs> Death to machines, but machines have <laughs> built and upkept our world for it's how many It's driving. Years. Uh, it's telling me my news. It's <laughs> having verdicts and cases. <laughs> There's something off about this, and I can't quite put my finger on it right now. Hmm? Hmm. Ah! Show it to me! I know, right? That's good storytelling. Oh boy. Look at this North number three. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Love these kind of moments. Love it. Oh, whoa. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Makes sense. Oh, whoa. No, don't do that. Don't put your hands up like They're that. in Germany, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there might be some censoring in this section. <laughs> Oh. Said three years ago. Three oh, years shit. ago, he was on vacation. Was supposedly. Damn. Oh, boy. What is this uh, government up to? Yeah, what are they? It's like, it's so wow. Mmm, the plot thickens. <laughs> what is this? Mm. Artificial sun? God, they even have like a media plan on how yeah. to control the narrative. Yep. Now I'm starting to really see like how messy things can be if we had like robots of this caliber in our world. It'll be extremely messy. Holy shit. It very much reminds me of the nuclear conversation across the world mm -hmm. to where some mm -hmm. countries want to use it for energy purposes, but then are you really using it for energy purposes or do you want to be able to take out your enemies? What is this second sun? Right. Photon mm -hmm. energy. What is this? Epsilon. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. Oh, is this the seventh? Oh. Interesting. What does that mean to a robot? I can understand both sides. Wow. Look at that. Hmm. He said hatred, right? Mm -hmm. Oh! Why'd I have to be right? Mm. <laughs> cycle mm. of hate, man. Cycle of hate everywhere. <laughs> Can robots help the cycle of hate? Maybe. On Main Street, you could just buy a rocket launcher? Hey, man. They live in... Different times, man, I guess. <laughs> what 
ケーキ食べたいなバカ無茶言うなよ何かいい仕事見つかったかなえねえお母さんいつ戻ってくるの大丈夫だ心配すんな At a certain point, like, what does the existence of robots do to the economy as well? Because if you have all this unemployment because robots have taken over all the various spaces of the economy, did he steal it? Even more than that, like in front of his kids, because it's like. Ah! Oh, wow. And then they, they, they made us hear it too. Damn. All because he said, I wanted to play with a soccer ball. I didn't know what to feel about this guy. But now that we're getting the backstory, okay. Okay. Yeah. Kind of like with Sir Duncan, too. I'm like, okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, he found the loophole. Mm-hmm. Ah, I don't hate this. And yeah, I hate not. that I don't hate this. <laughs> yeah, it, it's yeah, it's one of those situations. Is it Ellipsy or whatever his name is? Yeah. <laughs> like yeah. What's the name? The it they... was like Ellipsis or something like that. Uh, Ellipsis? <laughs> Ellipsis. Ellipsis. Yeah. Oh, Epsilon. Epsilon. What does that mean? Definitely gotta do research, but I'm scared to do research on them now, so I'll probably wait until the, I don't know, until we get to like... I think uh, Epsilon is uh, Greek, for the sum mm. of all parts. Uh, no, please tell me. Okay, tell me anyway. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Jesus. The demon? Whoa. Tell me. What's the word? Kill. Bora. Bora. Well, they had the Bora Inquiry, right? That was the name of the. What the? That was weird. <laughs> Girl. About it, run. Oh, is it kind of like a werewolf situation to where robots can turn into the demon? So he said he was running naked. That doesn't mean you paid something. <laughs> <laughs> You got like robot cataracts or something? It almost gets to the point to where like their emotions, they almost feel more powerful than the emotions humans feel. Mm -hmm. And that's not to like shame the, the emotions that the humans are feeling, but they almost can't comprehend what emotions that they're feeling. Yeah. And they stay in that one emotion. It's not like you kind of, you know, like us, whenever we yeah, feel yeah. a certain way, it, it can change. It can 100% change within that day. Unless you're like fully depressed. So, you know. Mm. That's beautiful. Oh, no. She's scaring me. Okay. Don't do nothing, alright. <laughs> okay, okay. Whoo! False alarm! Yeah, boy. 
He's like, I got the receipts, fam. <laughs> that is exactly how a younger sister would react. I love this naivete from a robot. Right. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Mm. This, this is where we get to the darkness. Mm. I painted them. <laughs> Wait, he could create flowers? Oh, oh okay. Well, I was just joking about painting them. This changes oh, everything! Okay. Okay. He's bringing something back to life. So a new uh, special robot we got. <laughs> mm. Wow, that's that's <laughs> amazing. Wow. Mm. Mm. Yeah, crazy. How do you how do you understand that concept as a robot? Yeah, but that's so unique because it's like he can create life, but like him, his demeanor and everything seems so depressed, so black, dark. It's interesting. Mm. Oh, what is this bro just came out of nowhere being a uh, a goaded character talking about philosophy he can create life like what is this hmm. devoid of life Broke like the war torn area dialogue uh oh mm -hmm. Whoa. Whoa. He is not Daishobu. <laughs> like those memes, life is not Daishobu. <laughs> That's literally his quote. That's his quote. Life is not, well, yeah, it's not Daishobu. Wait, is that the same autopsy doctor that showed the brother the... Mm -hmm. The bald guy, yep. This, uh, uh, what the fuck? <laughs> what did you transport in? Yeah, uh, oh, what oh. did you transport in? Oh. His name is Pluto? Oh. So the guy that can create life or bring it back is the demon that's, of death. That must say, that's the op. <laughs> that is him, the, the biggest op. So yeah, this guy, I I was right. I just didn't know that he would be Pluto. Ah. Remember how you said you feel like it was like a werewolf situation and how he's just like here laying down and stuff. Mm -hmm. Remember early in the episode we seen the horned devil like yep. just salivating in the darkness there's some werewolf type of imagery there oh fuck she gotta get out of here i just realized that that just dawned on me please leave it's great though because like this is what pluto needs pluto needs this naivete of a child that's True. almost human but to fuck. bring him back to the light <laughs> True though, that's very true but i'm scared I'm scared oh, yes. out of my wits. Very much, very much so. <laughs> Tornado. Damn it. So that scientist created Pluto. This yeah. robot seems like a god. Change right. the weather. Bring things back to life. But also, too, that scientist, right? That's the one that we seen early on in the episode that walked past uh, Adam yes. and Udon, right? And he Wasn't said quite that he sure was if like, it was human or robot. Yeah. So what? I, mm, what? We, we got some compound individuals here.
Oh no! So this is just like the situation in the beginning of the episode with the uh the animals in a way. Uh oh. Oh fuck! I, Do you the have boy a boy created him? Is the that like that the, the yeah. Civil War activation code? Like you hear the yep. name? Yep. That's why Gejito is so interesting too though. Oh my god, this series is something else, man. Transform. Ute! Oh. Don't Ute! I thought I was about to see some horns come out for a second. I got scared. <laughs> oh, shit. it's happening. He just gotta say a few more lines. Oh shit. Oh, and he was created in that vast world of death. Oh, there go to the Oh! Oh no. Hmm. Huh? Was, was he a puppet? I don't understand. Yeah. And can he like I mean, shit, you would, at the end of the day, it seems like you could just transfer that mind to, I mean, it's a robot. You could probably transfer I mean, they can food. change the, the memories via the chips. Mm -hmm. What? Nani? Mm -hmm. What? I'm, what the fuck? <laughs> So that body, what I understand, that like body a is a vessel for the construction robot, but someone was, like, tapping into that. Yeah, and hacking, using it. basically. Yeah. Hacking the mainframe. <laughs> oh. Oh. Ruto. By the flowers, too. By the yep. life. This is your only body? Here comes the horns. <laughs> yep. But yep. well, why are you? What is up with you, though? To kill Adam. Dude, I gotta read Astro Boy. Yeah, I feel like I need to read this shit now, too. <laughs> like, my bad. I wasn't familiar with your game. Mm -hmm. That's oh, the man. end. Wow. Good ep, bro. Uh, Vante, that. Honestly, like jokes aside, that might be one of the favorite episodes I think I've watched on the channel. Yeah, I agree. It was so it's like okay, I don't want the discussion to be too too long this time, but mm -hmm. we talked a lot. There's a there's a lot that happened this episode though, a lot. Um, I, so what is your thoughts about that whole thing with like the life and the and then him being like shit destruction, but also like life too? Like, what's your thoughts on that? Okay, so here's a here's a thought. In astrophysics, there is a theory that uh, I think it's called the primordial ooze theory. In terms of that's how all life on this planet was formed. I'm not going to get into conversation about that because I know that's just going to be a uh, very heated <laughs> conversation. But um, what essentially the theory it can be applied to is very similar circumstances on other planets so what i mean by that is that say for example that single cell organisms they developed on our own planet through that mm -hmm. primordial ooze it is very likely that if that process happened on our planet under certain conditions that it could happen on another planet under certain mm -hmm. conditions so the reason why i brought up that theory was in regards to robots and their evolution or even their genesis who's to say that humans are the only species that could potentially think about creating robots being the creator the god so to speak who's to say that that couldn't happen naturally just based off of like let's just say pure emotions um that have been synthesized into a robot that's like a really crazy idea to have, but I just don't understand how 
Pluto could simultaneously right. cause rain to bring flowers back to life, and he can and also cause tornadoes like, to death. Tornadoes, death, like. Huh. He has both sides of the coin, so I, I don't quite know what to make of that. What, what His dialogue thoughts? was interesting, too, though, because he was talking about, like, life and death, and, like, that, damn, that's an interesting-ass character, though. It's like, maybe that's just what it is. You know, life and death, they're, I mean, those two things are intertwined, so maybe that's just his natural instinct. But my thing is, when it comes to his creator and whatnot, like, that guy, like... Mm. That's the thing I'm trying to get. Like, what is, like, what is your ploy? Like, and then also with him being, I guess, a robot himself, apparently, unless he, like, Do, well, <laughs> that makes it even more interesting. Or is it and like then, a human and then we got line? I don't know. In his situation, like, my mind is all over the place. I love stories like this where it's like there's a lot of stuff going on where you can like. You know, just pick and choose what you want to, like, just focus on for that. Yeah. You know, because now my mind is thinking about a whole bunch of stuff. But, like, it's it's just fun that way. It's kind of like with One Piece. Like, with One Piece, you can think about, oh, I want to think about, like, the voice entry. Or, oh, I want to think about, like, what's happening in the current arc or what's happening to this character on this island. Or, you know, mm -hmm. there's different things you can latch on to. I think this series has that where, like... Already in this episode alone, we're thinking about or we're, we're very intrigued with... Uh, that that guy um, that created him, I guess uh, Pluto itself, the whole Bora situation, um, Udon, like her herself, like she. We didn't even get into Gejito, and he was the first and, yeah. part of this episode, and mm -hmm. and Adam, like, wh what is the animosity? Like, I mean, well, I know he's a part of that, but it almost seems like it's really directed towards Adam, like kill Adam. I don't know if he was just like next in line. That's why he was just telling him like. It didn't seem that way. It felt like it was yeah, more personal when he said, does. no, your objective is to destroy Adam. Yeah. Why? Oh, and then uh, um, Adolf earlier in the episode with him mm. and um, you know his dad and his brother, that situation. It's like, damn, this is a good-ass series. I'm glad we're not binging it, actually. I'm actually glad we're not binging it. I'm glad that we take some <laughs> I don't days, think my know? brain could possibly <laughs> comprehend everything that's going on, whether or not you inserted a memory chip into my head. <laughs> Man, oh this my is goodness. Good. Oh yeah, we gotta definitely put people on to this. Hell yeah. Sherm, come on, man. Please. I know you're watching this video in the future. So we already made you watch it. <laughs> <laughs> we already got you to watch it, so hey. <laughs> if you're watching this video, you already are thirty eight percent done with this series, and it feels like <sighs> this could go on for another hundred episodes. Well my friends started watching it too. I didn't we didn't even talk about it. He just said, he was like, oh, I watch this um I'm watching this new Show on Netflix called Pluto. I'm, oh yeah, I'm reacting to him. Like yeah, okay, mm. nice. So I got somebody else I could talk to about it too. Okay, <laughs> good. This is dope, man. Really good day of recording, by the way, guys. We recorded free run. Go check that out. Undead Unluck. Go check that out. Great stuff in this session. But I ain't got nothing else to say, man. Great episode. My my mind's a little bit blown. If I thought the first two episodes were fantastic, <laughs> this one even Damn. took it a step farther. And just one quick final point, which it may not sound quick, but I'm going to try to blitz this through. Uh, Vontae and I had an extended conversation off camera about what it would take for a series to surpass our favorite of all time, which uh -huh. is Attack on Titan. So do come back to the channel for that next week if you are interested in that series. Uh, but my main point of what could potentially replace Attack on Titan as my favorite series of all time is a storyline that knows what its themes are and specifically sticks to those themes as it relates to the story. And if you know what your themes are and you execute that accordingly with your plot line, that yep. is the main indicator of how much I will like your show. Characters, mm -hmm. action, animation, OST, whatever. That's Those are just toppings. I'm talking yep. about the base essence of a series, and Pluto has that in 38% of the show. Yeah. I feel <laughs> it. It's, it's really there. It's, it's there. And, I mean, I see why they took the time to even create this arc or put this in, you know, this uh, eight-episode, mm -hmm. hour-long uh, little mini-series. 
and this is like the only standalone one, right? It's like not like a season two. Or it nothing completes like that. it. Completes the the series. So and then that most definitely yeah this this might end up being one of the best things we react on the channel once it's all said and done. It's already, I mean, if you want to compare based off of like the same amount of time spent watching something with like other series with this one. Yeah, I know it's a different format, but even at that, you can still compare at some point in time. This is very high up there. It might be at the top. We'll see, though. <laughs> yeah, let's let's try not get ahead of ourselves, but mm-hmm. it has definitely gotten off to a phenomenal start. Yeah, yep. You guys know the drill, man. Come by every week. We're gonna have we're gonna have it on the channel. You guys, you guys are already showing us love too. Um, by the time of this recording to the first episode as well. So thank you guys. Shout out to you guys for, you know, popping up. But um, is there anything else you want to say before we head out? I'm good. You can end this up here. All right. So we guys know the drill. Pull up every week, like I said. Um, you know, like, comment, subscribe, share the video. Help us out. We're, we're, we're doing, we're going to be doing a lot. We've already been doing a lot, but we're going to do a lot um, as this year ends up closing. And we're going to have an award show too. We're going to keep mentioning it randomly throughout videos community posts so stay tuned for that as well but with that being said i hope you guys all have a good one so please stay safe stay healthy stay clean see you guys on the next video and peace, peace.